The amount of air pressure in an intake manifold of a vehicle is measured by a sensor known as a MAP sensor or Manifold Absolute Pressure Sensor. The engine control unit of the vehicle can deliver the proper amount of fuel to match the volume of air entering the engine by using this pressure reading in conjunction with engine speed, which is expressed in RPM. The air fuel ratio in your car would probably change if your MAP sensor ever failed. In this video, we will talk about symptoms of faulty MAP sensor, how to diagnose it and test. It's Max the Car Guy. Subscribe and let's get started. Symptoms. If the MAP sensor has malfunction, the consequence is usually an improper air fuel mixture. Here are eight of the most common issues. Lean air fuel mixture. The effects of an excessively lean air fuel mixture may be bad because hot air combustion from a leaner mixture over time may harm or reduce the lifespan of engine parts due to heat. Nitrogen oxide and carbon monoxide are two of the more dangerous emissions that are produced by leaner air fuel mixtures. Engine knock, also known as predetonation, is more likely to happen. If knock occurs while the engine is under load, might result in a catastrophic failure and cost you the entire engine. Rich air fuel mixture. The following things could happen if the air fuel mixture is too rich. The spark plugs could corrode. Carbon deposits could accumulate more quickly. It's possible for the catalytic converter to clog. There could be a noticeable gasoline odor in the exhaust. Fuel efficiency will decline. Check engine light. If your car has an OBD2 port, it might turn on the check engine light if it notices a problem with the MAP sensor. DTC P0106 or 07, P0133, and DTC P0299 for vehicles with turbochargers or superchargers are examples of common problems. If you have access to a scan tool, you can read the code at home to see if a faulty MAP sensor caused the check engine light to come on. Poor fuel economy. Poor gas mileage is a typical sign of a bad MAP sensor. When the sensor is malfunctioning, it may communicate incorrect information to the engine management system of your car. Because of this, your engine might use more fuel than usual, which can reduce your fuel economy. Misfires. Your engine may be having trouble maintaining complete combustion if your car is no longer running at its optimal air fuel ratio. Misfires will result from incomplete combustion. These can occasionally emit their own check engine lights, stumbling, hesitation, or stalling. You might notice the engine bog, hesitate, stumble, or even stall when you stab the gas pedal to overtake quickly or pull out in front of traffic. All of these indicate that the air-fuel mixture isn't quite right, and the sudden addition of so much air has made it harder for the engine to keep up with the sudden requested load. Rough idle. Inadequate air-to-fuel ratios can also result in excessive idling engine vibrations or erratic changes in idle speed. Hard starting. The MAP sensor is crucial to the air-fuel mixture that enters the engine because it is in charge of observing intake manifold pressure. Your engine may struggle to maintain the proper air-fuel ratio if the sensor is providing inaccurate data, which could lead to hard starting or even stalling. When the engine is cold or when the temperature is changing quickly, this can be especially noticeable. How to test. It's simpler than you might think to diagnose a bad sensor if you think your MAP sensor might be acting up. To make it easier for you to test and identify the issue, let's divide the procedure into a few unimportant steps. Use the scan tool. It should be plugged into the diagnostic port on your car to check for any stored error codes. It's a good sign that there may be an issue if you see a code for the manifold absolute pressure sensor. Locate your MAP sensor next. It is usually on or close to the intake manifold. Unplug the electrical connector from the sensor while your engine is off. Set a voltmeter to the DC voltage setting. Attach the red probe to the reference wire of the sensor and connect the black probe to ground. The reading ought to be near 5 volts. If not, there might be a problem with the engine control module of your car. Start your car's engine now and let it idle. Reattach the electrical connector to the MAP sensor and then use your voltmeter's probes to back probe the signal wire. A voltage corresponding to the engine load should be visible. Depending on the type of engine and the vehicle you are driving, this can range from 0.5 to 4.5 volts. As you lightly depress the accelerator pedal, keep an eye on the voltmeter to see how the voltage rises as the RPMs rise. There is a good chance that the MAP sensor is malfunctioning if you observe any irregular changes in voltage or if the sensor doesn't react to changes in RPM or throttle position. Hope the information was useful for you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.